So one of the big requests that we got from our audience is they would like a little bit more clarity on some really basic elements of uh, ChatGPT and some of the basic tools that we've been talking about. So I'm gonna do a brief presentation on those here just to help you understand what are the key tools and, and how to use them. And one of the big questions we get is, what is the difference between ChatGPT 3.5 versus ChatGPT 4.0 and is it worth it to invest in ChatGPT 4.0? versus the free 3.5. So as a quick reminder, GPT in ChatGPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. GPT is a large language model developed by the Microsoft-backed research company OpenAI that's now become a for-profit. Um, generative means it creates new stuff. Um, so there are lots of types of AI, like facial recognition, pattern recognition, that are not generative in nature, they're more analytical. Pre-trained means that it was trained on a large body of text, in this case, the internet, circa 2021. Anything after September 2021 isn't in the brain uh, of ChatGPT 4 uh, or 3.5. Transformer is, uh, and we talked about this at length earlier, is an artificial intelligence technology that these large language models are built on. Uh, it was a bit originally developed, ironically, by a Google researcher, although uh, OpenAI and, and Microsoft are now the main competitors in AI with Google. And then the number 3.5 is like the version number. So 3.5 is version 3.5 and 4 is the new upgraded number. And you know, when it comes to versioning, when you um, change the point 3.5, 3.6, those are incremental improvements. When you change the first number three to four, that's the big jump. And that's really what uh, GPT-4, ChatGPT-4 is. It's a big jump. And it does three things way better than 3.5. It was released in March, 2023 and currently costs 20 bucks per month. And the three things it does way better than ChatGPT 3.5 is it's more creative. It allows you to put visual inputs like um, PDFs or photographs and it gives you longer context. Uh, so it's able to process and understand image prompts and it can engage in longer conversations. It's more reliable and more creative, but it's, it's slower uh, and it doesn't overload as often where you're kind of shut out of it as the, when you're using the free version. So the four steps uh, to pay for ChatGPT4 is one, um, you create or sign into your open AI account. You can just Google, uh, OpenAI or ChatGPT, and that'll take you to the OpenAI page. You can then log in. You click on Upgrade to Plus on the lower left. You have the option to then upgrade to the $20 per month ChatGPT Plus plan, and then you complete the purchase. Um, Nicole and Jeff, are you guys users of GPT-4? And if so, why? Why do you guys invest that? Yes. Yeah, a hundred percent. GPT three sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so we so so we tend to use GPT four primarily because it's it's better and under all performance standards except for speed from a, from just a in terms of how it interprets language, low perplexity, like we talked about, higher reasoning power. But we actually do use other models in different scenarios. If we value speed and we want to reduce our costs, sometimes we'll use. GPT 3.5 or even open source models um, for for use cases where we don't care so much about the quality of the reasoning or the language. Yeah. Um, one of the really cool ways to just test this is put the same prompt in for 3.5 and 4, um, and you'll see the difference almost immediately. Uh, one thing I've noticed is 3.5 is like less good at following directions. So I'll say, write a three sentence email uh, for a sales prospect, and it'll write a five paragraph email. And then I'll have to do another prompt where I say, okay, great, but now condense it to three sentences. Whereas GPT-4 is much better at sort of staying on task and the um, language it uses is often more creative, uh, more conversational, it uses better use of synonyms. And um, it's just, you know, I remember I did one uh, related to children and it used the word kiddos and it was like really well done. It was an introduction to a sales email I had met them at a birth, the kid's birthday party, 
and it said, you know, the, in GPT 3.5 was, it was very nice to meet you on Friday at the children's birthday party that we both attended versus, hey, uh, GPT 4 was like, hey, it was super cool to meet your kiddos. You know, like that kind of thing is, is in a small example of the ways it's more more powerful and then and then way, way beyond that. That's a uh, almost trivial example, but you'll see the difference.